We start with a grim milestone. On this day in 2011, a string of tornadoes ripped through the state and the east, causing mass destruction and dozens of deaths. Eastern North Carolina has seen its share of extreme weather and natural disasters, but little compares to what happened 10 years ago today. Nine in your sides, Caroline Boyer shares what this day means to one of our own meteorologists. Just two times there has been a uh, what's designated as a high risk day in, in my in my time of uh, working as a broadcast meteorologist for 30 years. April 16th, 2011. It was daunting and, I, and to this moment it's, it's, it's sending chills up and down me as I'm thinking about it. Ten years ago today, a string of tornadoes tore through our state killing two dozen people. This is the type of storm that you read about, hear about, and cover from the Midwest in what's called Tornado Alley. Foundation is left where a house once stood, and it's like a scene from Kansas, not something that you would expect here in the east. Tornado Alley was happening here in eastern North Carolina that day. Storm Team 9 meteorologist David Sawyer remembers that Saturday like it was yesterday. It's so, so crucial that you're in your safe area, uh, away from windows, middle of your home, from about 1 p.m. till almost midnight, we were on the air continuously covering tornado after tornado, over 30 confirmed tornadoes in that outbreak. A few of those tornadoes in particular still stand out to Sawyer. One in Greene County where an EF3 tornado winds over 160 miles per hour ripped through a good portion of Greene County. And it sucked my tennis shoes off my feet. That storm left a gaping hole in Greene County Middle School's gym. Had that been a school day, the, the amount of uh, injuries and, and likely deaths would have been just tremendous at Greene County Middle School. One example, the fact that it was a Saturday was indeed a, a real godsend that there were people not at work, not at school. Then a secondary tornado formed and moved into Farmville. Another tornado moving through Bertie County left 11 dead. It's tremendous uh, damage to people's lives, uh, communities wrecked, schools broken. One funnel cloud that formed in Aiden was heading right toward WNCT. I literally practiced what I preached at that point. I told everyone on air that we as a television station were going to be getting into our safe place. And our director uh, continued from his location underneath the desk. I was underneath the desk in the weather center. Uh, continued just to talk through and trying to keep everyone apprised of the storms. That's something Sawyer had never done before. It was a first in the sense of I, I've of course been tracking and, uh, and warning viewers about tornadoes for the, my entire career. Um, but uh, yes, that particular moment, it became extremely personal and real. Sawyer says storms like this remind him why he loves his job. The accuracy of our system to be able to track that storm to the street level, which we have that capability to this day here in the Storm Team 9 Weather Center, to keep our viewers ahead of those types of storms, that is why we do what we do. Also on that day 10 years ago, the storm caused destruction at one of the nation's oldest historically black colleges. A tornado damaged buildings, shattered windows, knocked down trees, and forced Shaw University to cancel the rest of that spring semester. It led to a massive cleanup effort on the Raleigh campus that's still feeling this storm's impact today.